right, folks, Alan Rubel coming back at you for Ozark Mountain Outdoor Adventures. We are super pumped for this 2020 season, and we have a special guest here for you this evening. I'll let him introduce himself. Here he is. Hi, everybody. My name's Justin, and I like to go hunting in the woods. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Justin? Sorry you're not here with us in the evening. Justin is going out on a uh, solo adventure a little bit closer to town. Me and uh, Matt here have gotten off uh, a little bit earlier and heading out together. Hopefully we're going to put a smack down on a doe or find some big buck sign. What, what do you think? I think there's a good chance you guys are getting pretty good at finding them critters. He sounds dear, like a prospector. Dear, dear Lord, help us tonight. Keep us safe. Wee doggy, we're gonna get up in the mountains and find some gold. <laughs> For real though. This is mine and Alan's uh, first adventure together of uh, 2020, year of the corona. So uh, we're pretty pumped up. We had some good hunts last year. We had a lot of fun. We did actually, and some success really. So Hope Matt was the was on fire last year. I had a decent year. He did, and hopefully we can uh, get on some. We can get on some sign here before the season really gets good. Right now, it is still early season. You know, it's hot. This evening is a little bit hotter than night. It's 77 right now. Ugh. But we're going out here, hopefully, to, to try to find uh, the, the breadcrumbs, the next step of what, uh, you know, mid, you know, mid-October, we can come back down here and hopefully kill a big buck. So stay tuned with us. Bye. All right, guys. Well, thanks for sticking with us here. Uh, so, me and Matt have split up. He's gone ahead uh, that direction up the conservation trail. Um, and we've just decided to divide and conquer, do a little bit of scouting, and then be in communication with one another on, on how the area looks. So far, I'm entering this field and walking down this high line. It should come to a pond and then at the end have a clearing. He is up this way. On a really steep incline which has some nice funnels and pinch points that he's going to check out hopefully he can get some deer sign up there it is still super hot guys the sun's pretty warm we got a long walk ahead of me so stay tuned with us looks like some of this brush has been bulldozed this could be really good in the evening maybe i don't know i don't think i'll be down here yet but we have a high line here. We'll see how it turns out. Well, plenty of deer tracks. These look old. Wanting to see where they're coming down here to drink. All right, well, came to this spot where these three high lines come together, and there was a pretty nice uh, trail going down the middle of this one for a good little time. I was trying not to walk on it, but the map shows this area here is kind of sparse, and I could I could see a, a buck wandering around in there, you know, just in my mind's eye. It opens up a little bit further down here. Um, but I'm not seeing any sign in here either than that good trail. And uh, just them using this to move a little bit easier. But where are they moving to is what I'm thinking. That pond had some fresh tracks. Um, but as the high line that I entered it uh, parallels with the road out here and where that pond is it's really not that far off the road I could see the road went to go behind the pond and I could see the road so they might be going down this high line to get to the pond I'm gonna walk up here just a little bit further see what I can find I see a fence down here 
So I'm going to walk down this way just a little bit further. Then I'm going to head back up to this pond and see if I can get set up. Stay tuned. All right, folks. Well, I went on down the high line a little bit, and uh, there was just a lot more of the same. Uh, you know, I wasn't even seeing a good trail in the middle of that section. Like I said, it was kind of thinner. But um, anyway, so I came back over here to the pond and made a quick setup. I cut a couple limbs. It was kind of in my view. It's still not real great. But right here on the corner of the pond is where I was finding the freshest tracks and the uh, wettest mud. So hopefully they'll come right down this, uh, this high line right in front of me and head to that pond. That's the only, only card I have to play. I wonder how Matt's doing. something walking. Well, it is still early at 6.08. Um, it sounds like Matt has had an encounter on the trail. Um, I think he went and did his scout and went back to where he seen a uh, small buck crossing the trail. So he's hoping that a little bit later, um, maybe another buck will do the same thing. Also, it sounds like uh, Nick could very well be on the board tonight with a six-point. So. Anyway, I'm 
still watching this pond. I'm not 100% in love with my setup, but you know, again, anything that comes in is going to be super close to me, so I really have to get off here. 